Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christine. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to MLM Top Fields 24. I'm also super excited to announce the sponsor of today's video. That is Modern Nature, Monate. Monate is a hair care company. I'm, I'm joking. But in all reality, this is a part of Monate March Madness. And some of the clips here, of course, also have to be about Monate. It is not an MLM Top Fails video just with clips from Monate Huns, but also from Arbonne and also from Body. But I also have some gems from Monate. And that is why this is a part of Monate March Madness as well. And MLM Top Fails 24. This is already the 24th installment of this series. Still to this very day, my absolute favorite anti-MLM videos. And we're going to start with Monate. I mean, I said the video is sponsored by Monate because they do give me some nice inspiration many, many times for these top fails as well. This is a Monate Hun who yet again does a Hun experiment. If you know, you know. It's fun times over here. I will have to pitch the audio for copyright reasons, just a heads up. If it sounds weird, it is because of that. And I don't want to be in any copyright trouble because of the music, but let's watch this and then we can talk about this. This is a PSA for you if you're ready to ditch your toxic hair products in 2024 and switch over to clean hair treatments. Don't feel bad if you didn't know your products contain toxic ingredients. I didn't either. But we are fooled by words on labels and think products are designed to help solve our hair problems, but anything that lights on fire shouldn't go on your scalp and straps. Make 2024 your hair's year to shine. DM me hair help for a free consultation. This is a PSA for you if you're ready to ditch your toxic hair products in 2024 and switch over to clean hair treatments. Don't feel bad if you didn't know your products contain toxic ingredients. I didn't either. But we are fooled by words on labels and think products are designed to help solve our hair problems, but anything that lights on fire shouldn't go on your scalp and straps. Make 2024 your hair's year to shine. DM me hair help for a free consultation. This was a lot for sure. I did not speed up the stuff. I did not add anything else. I just really pitched it for copyright reasons. It was that fast. It made me actually nervous. It was like boom, 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 boom. How am I supposed to follow this? This doesn't make a lot of sense for me. But what makes sense for me is to pitch uh, shamelessly the playlist where I have a lot of hun experiments on. It's really fun if you want to watch these as well, because in those videos, I explain in depth what we're seeing right here. In the end, a lot of the hun experiment things are very, very similar. It is a Monet hun in this case, who is setting flammable products on fire and then they're surprised that the flammable products that they set on fire do catch fire in their Hun experiments. Like the dry shampoo we have seen before that has a flammable propellant to push the actual product <laughs> out of the can. And Monet's propellant is not flammable. And that is uh, why it doesn't go up in flames. And neither is their hair oil, which is great news. That is the other product that she used here. And you know what? So is mine. Watch the Hun Science playlist because I also compared a lot of the products, a lot of the stuff to my very own. And you might be very happy to know that my hair oil is also not something that can be set on fire. That is really important because it proves nothing. <laughs> As the Monate hair videos and the Monate Hunt Science videos don't prove anything either. These experiments do not prove that Monate is better, that the Monate products are safer, or that they have better ingredients than other products. It just means that Monate products are not flammable. <laughs> That's really all this means. There is no correlation to you using them on your head. I mean, don't light your hair on fire. That's, I would say, given, because then you would be in big trouble. But even if you used Monate products, you would be in big trouble because your hair is flammable. This is a PSA for you if you are ready to ditch your toxic hair products in 2024 and switch over to clean hair treatments. Don't feel bad you didn't know your products contain toxic ingredients. I didn't either. But we're fooled by words on labels and think products are designed to help solve our hair problems. Fooled by words? You mean words like clean and toxic? This is fear mongering to me and it is greenwashing that clean products are better because the other products are toxic. That is BS. This really is just a sales pitch from Monate 
to legitimize the excessively, ridiculously overpriced product that they try to shove down people's throats, and also for the customers themselves to not maybe doubt why they buy these really, really expensive products. These products are ridiculously priced, not because of their cleanliness, but because of the multiple layers that Monet has to finance. It's a multi-level marketing company. If you sell a product, not just the person who sells the product gets a commission, but their upline and their upline and their upline's upline. And also the corporate side, they also want their share. Many of your hair products could contain toxic ingredients that are only furthering the problems that you find on your scalp and strands. Make 2024 your hair year to shine. DM me hair, help for a free consultation. Yeah, I will not do that. If ingredients are important to you and you don't want preservatives and you don't want certain ingredients that are typical when you buy products from the drugstore, for example, more likely fillers, then yeah, keep an eye out for that. But there are similar and better products available on the market and you don't need to pay for a Monate products. Monate products are not better, they're just pricier. And if ingredients are important to you, there are great products out there on the market and less pricey options available while you can still uphold a good quality. The next post is from an Arbonne Han and she wants to talk to us about budget. Okay, this new house that I just saw, it's so wild because a couple days ago I was just like, I'm not supposed to live here. Like I'm not supposed to live here. I'm supposed to be in an area. Like <clears throat> I picture these like beautiful stunning neighborhoods that I've seen in Newport Beach where the, all the houses are pretty, everything is well kept. Like, I'm like, that's just where I'm supposed to be is a neighborhood like that. And so randomly this morning, I just like decided to search um, Fort Langley, which is really random. And so I looked it up and this house was there and I went, oh my gosh, this is like that Newport Beach vibe, but it's here in BC. And so I was like, it made me feel so happy that I'm like, I just need to go drive by it. I'm going to go see it on Sunday um, and just see what it makes me feel, if that makes sense. And the price of it and like how much land there is, is not ideal. But I was like, I just need to go see it and feel it and see what I think. Um, so I'm gonna go see it. And I wanted to say to you, cause this is something I hear so often, people won't even look at things if it's out of their budget. And for me, I'm like, no, this is what creates the vision. This is what allows you to even have a reason for working or bringing in money or doing anything or like building your business like you need vision for this and so I haven't even looked at like what I'd get pre-approved for if I was gonna buy a new house right now um but I'm like I just need to go because I'm like for me I'm also making a matcha latte okay I'm gonna talk about what I my greens and then my matcha latte in a second but I'm like for me I look at it like no I go find what I want and then I find the way to get there. So it's like, I don't look, I, I even hate the word budget. Like I will never say like, oh, it's not within my budget. Like, ew, that feels so icky. I'm like, no, if I want something, I'm gonna find a way to go get it and like increase revenue, increase the way I make money, do what I have to do to get the thing that I want. I will never limit myself for budget. I do understand that it can be fun to look at things, at products that you know you cannot afford, but you would like to see what is out there to envision what could be like touring a house you already know is not in your budget or an apartment or do window shopping. But I would say it can also get very, very dangerous rather quickly when you are actually looking to buy a home or a car or book a trip that is out of your budget. Budgeting and knowing your limits, financially speaking or in general, I think is really, really important. For example, I, when I lived in Munich uh, over four years ago, I had a former colleague of mine who moved to Munich for the job and she was looking for an apartment and she was touring apartments that were out of her budget because in Munich it is even harder to find a decently priced apartment compared to Berlin anyways, but in general. And what she did was she got an apartment that was out of her budget because she fell in love with it and she didn't want to turn it down. She was actually eligible for this one. And she said, you know what? I might get a raise here very, very soon. I'm going to do a good job. I'm a great worker. And that was not the company to do that with. And the company then afterwards shut down, not too long afterwards. And she was stuck with a rent of a really, really pricey apartment in Munich that she couldn't afford from the get-go. 
So I would be very careful about this. Knowing your limits and budgeting, if you're actually looking to buy something or rent something is extremely important. So that's my little memo for you. Do not limit yourself by only looking at things you can afford. Like even that, I'm like, no, if you want something and something is nice to you, like let it be <clears throat> a purse, let it be a couch, let it be a house, let it be whatever, a car, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a trip. No, go create your dream trip. Go create your dream house. Go see it. Paint the vision for yourself and then just know that by even you having the awareness that this is something you want within your future, I'm like, for me, I always say, it wouldn't be showing up if it wasn't already pre-planned. Whether you believe in timelines or whatever, I'm like, for me, I'm like, it's already done. Like, if this is what I truly, really want, it's already done. I just have to like go through the motions of like this current timeline to have that thing in the future. Does that make sense? It might be a little far out. Anyway, I'm gonna go see this house and I'm really excited about it and it's given me a new pep in my step today. So yeah. Oh, and Kate, have you guys, have you tried? Yeah. Cast as many visions as you want to and tour as many houses you cannot afford as you want. Uh, but why put afford into quotation marks? <laughs> Budget and know what you can afford and what not is really important and then you can make a hopefully smart decision. But the reason why I'm showing you this is the truly icky part that comes now because it is an MLM top fails video and this is an Arbon Han. So casting a vision and all of that, think outside of your budget because it's icky. Look at the things you want to achieve and then find a way to work towards them. That is what's coming up now because let's not forget, this is an Arbon Han casting a vision who likely cannot afford, well, afford to not pitch her Arbon business. Okay, anyways, I am out of my gut health, which I'm like, that's really weird. I don't know how that happened. Um, but the new probiotic sticks, they're they melt in your mouth. So like it literally tastes like a pixie stick. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Put it on your tongue. And you just take it down and it tastes like candy. Like my kids are obsessed with them. They're they're meant for kids. So it's like if you want your kids to have a probiotic, you can use these. Um and then I made my greens. Cause I'm gonna take it for the road. I'm taking that. Cause when I showed him the picture, you guys, he was like, oh, a mansion. And then I showed him the backyard. He was like, oh, can we live there? And I was like, this is so cute. Um, anyways, I'm gonna take Dax. I'm gonna go pick up Maddox. We're gonna go drive past the house and then I'm actually gonna go see it on Sunday. Um, but I made my greens and just an FYI, you can get over 20% off free product, free sign up if you wanna save money on Arbon products, all of those things. Um, and a free mascara. Like there's so many things going on right now. If you take a MLM Hans are notorious for pitching overpriced products and business opportunity in a multi-level marketing company that nobody needs but themselves. And this did rub me the wrong way. All of the budgeting and all of the topic at the beginning is kind of an entryway into let's join Arbon. Purchase a couple of products, they're on sale now, you get a certain percentage off, and then you can join my team as well because that's ultimately what always happens. You're never just a customer in an MLM. You're always a potential recruit, and then you can cast the vision what could be. You cannot afford the opportunity or you cannot afford the product. Don't you worry, this is an investment into your future. If you cannot afford to buy these products or if you cannot afford to join me, then you are the person who needs this opportunity and you need these products. And I will show you how you can make them work. This is a dangerous, dangerous pitch when most people in multi-level marketing companies, as per the FTC, will lose money. Let's take a look at Arbonne's income disclosure statement for Canada for 2022 to see what a business opportunity Arbonne actually is. In 2022, a typical Arbonne independent consultant in Canada earned between zero and $250 in commissions and overrides. For earnings by level, please refer to the chart below. Here we can see that in Canada in 2022, the independent consultants made a median annual earnings of $149. Those are the people at the lowest rank. And 62% of the people in Arbonne are at that level. 
Then we have the district managers who make a median annual earnings of $1,500 and 26% are at that level. The area managers make $8,700 median annual earnings and 8% are at that level. And then we have the regional vice presidents who make $31,589 median annual earnings. 3% of the people in the company are at that level. And then we have the national vice presidents who make $121,000 median annual earnings. And those are 1% of the consultants in the company in Canada. We're talking about Canadian dollars here. I would argue even if you're at the top of this company in Canada, this is not a great income opportunity. And I'm just saying this so clearly because this is a sneaky, sneaky pitch. You need to envision what you want for your future and then you can work your way towards that. It's just a way, in my opinion, to lure people in, into Arbon, into buying the products. And if you cannot afford the products anymore, you can also join my team and make money by selling them and promoting them yourself. When we see that most people, also not in Arbon Canada, in 2022 were able to make a lot of money. According to the FTC, most people will end up in debt. This is not a great opportunity. So instead of envisioning things, I would rather work with effects. The next video is yet again from an Arbon Han who wants to tell us about multiple side jobs and the advantage of that. Once again, I will have to pitch it for copyright reasons. So if it sounds a little bit off, it is not because of the person, but I need to pitch it so that I don't get a copyright strike because of music infringement. I would rather work multiple part-time jobs than one full-time job. And here's why. Maybe you're like me and you're a multi-passionate person. You're someone who has many different interests. For me, I'm into fitness, I love hair care, I love helping people, I love to travel. And to think that I have to choose one career for 40, 50 hours of the week where I'm only focusing on one of those interests just kind of seems like all my other passions are going to waste. And not to scare you, but any given moment, your company can decide that your role is no longer necessary and they can make you redundant at any moment. And I'm only saying this because this happened to me. It happened to me three and a half years ago and things could have turned out very, very different if I hadn't diversified how I was getting paid. And why I'm telling you this is because you can prepare yourself for a situation like this, which you may never experience but you might. Maybe you're like me and you've been impacted by a layoff or you've been cut hours in a job. What have you been handling this? Like, how have you been overcoming this? Have you been hit by the cost of inflation? I would honestly love to hear about it in the comments or you can send me a message and I can share a little bit more about what I have been doing to kind of offset this and still be able to stay afloat. Genuinely feel that there are ways that we can add income to our lives that we don't feel the effects as strongly. And I would just love to chat with you. This hot take saved me when I got laid off. Four and a half years ago, I used to rely on one income stream to fund my entire life, to pay for my rent, my bills, my credit card, groceries, savings, travel, everything. I was 100% reliant on one income to survive, not to mention this income over an entire year only gave me a 25 cent per hour raise. Brain head emoji. Your job gave you a raise, that is good, because an MLM could never. Just to clarify, you cannot get a raise in a multi-level marketing company. She makes it sound like this is nothing, but 25 cents per hour, the raise, not your salary, that's just the raise. Let's say she worked 40 hours a week, that is a $10 raise per week, and that adds up to 520 bucks in a year. Just the raise, that is not too shabby. It's what you get on top of what you already earned. So let's not complain about this. I think this is pretty nice. I was putting my life into one employer's hands, which I soon realized was extremely dangerous for my own personal financial security. It wasn't until I got laid off by this employer that I really realized how important it is to have multiple income streams. The rising cost of inflation, interest rates, credit card debt, cost of housing, groceries, travel. Maybe you're feeling the effects of all those above that I just mentioned and you've experienced a similar situation to me, like getting laid off or having hours cut at your job. How are you handling this? Have you had a cutback on spending? Are you budgeting differently? I'd love to open the discussion in the comments or in my DMs. 
I would say that multiple streams of income or multiple side jobs instead of having one for 40 or 50 hours in a week, that is an option for some people, yes. And I would argue that the most important thing about a job, whether it is your full-time job or whether it is a side job, is that it actually provides one essential thing, and that is money, right? Because after all, what she's pitching here is a side job. I would assume that this is a monate pitch because this is a monate hunt. And if you have questions, you should leave information or you should leave your questions in the comments or DM her so that she, what I will guess is pitch monate to you as a side hustle. And that is the problem. Let's take a look at Monet's income disclosure statement, this time for Canada, because this is also somebody who is in Canada for 2022, to see what a great opportunity Monet could be as a side hustle for you if you lived in Canada. When we take a look at these numbers, we can first of all see that the Canadian income disclosure statement displays the average monthly gross earnings as compared to the US where we have the median annual gross earnings. So that is a different first and foremost. And the average is not that great of a depiction of what most people will be able to make at a rank, but we don't have the median to work with. The market partners and the managing market partners, they're being put together into the first bracket here. Those are two different ranks and 96.91% of the people in the company are at those two ranks. And they make an average monthly gross earnings of 20 Canadian dollars. Then it's the associate market builder, the people in Canada made $549 average monthly gross earnings. The market builders, 868. The managing market builders, 1,476. And then the associate market mentor, 3,060. And the market mentors, 6,407. But here we are already at the zero point something something percentage. So it is most likely for people who are in Canada, in Monate, to be at the first, second or third rank where over 97% of the people are at. This is the average monthly gross earnings. It is before taxes, it is before expensive and very likely a lot of work for that amount of money if this is supposed to be a side job and you do, to a certain degree, depend on this income. Monet in Canada is also not a great business opportunity. And to finish this off, because she said she was let go and she was being made redundant by her former job, the same can happen to you when you are in Monet, because at any time without Monet having to give you a reason why, they can just terminate your account. You actually have more security when you have a legitimate job, now, as somebody who lives in Germany, I might have a little bit of a different perspective here, but if I were to be let go by my job, they're required to pay me for a certain amount of months. And many times they're going to compensate people that want to let go very generously, also to avoid lawsuits. So it is more likely that you will have some sort of financial stability when you're being let go from a regular job. You will not be compensated from a multi-level marketing company. They can just let you go from one day to another and they can terminate your account without even having to give you an explanation as to why. There is no job security and there is no security in an MLM. It could be over just like this from one moment to another and you do not get any kind of compensation. If you read Monet's policies and procedures and just look for the term terminate or termination, you can see that they're able to get rid of their market partners for a gazillion reasons. I wanted to include some of those in this video, but I would just encourage you to go and read that by yourself because I couldn't decide what to include into this video because they're allowed to terminate the market partners for anything and everything. You wear a green shirt on Mondays, Monet could let you go. You are in another MLM or you're promoting stuff on your social media and Monate doesn't like it, they can let you go. You're speaking critically about Monate or about other distributors, Monate can let you go. You have farted, Monate can let you go. This might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but yes, Monate can terminate their market partner's accounts without having to give the slightest reason. That is not job security, that is madness.
The next post is from somebody who is high up in body, formerly known as Beach Body, and I wanted to include this because I found it very, very telling what a ginormous pressure the people in body have to be thin. Also, in this day and age, after Beach Body rebranded to Body and wanted to lead with loving your life, loving your body, loving workouts, loving food. But in the end, in my opinion, it is still the same MLM. Even with this rebrand, there is a lot of pressure on the distributors to be thin, to slim down their bodies, to have appealing before and after pictures. And it is not so much about the fun in joining body, about the workouts. It's about adhering to a certain visual that is appealing to people that might sell more easily. These are pictures from somebody who is at the top of body, who's one of the top leaders there. And these are typical posts for her. This is a top distributor who posted this a while ago after giving birth to her third child. Down 45 pounds, my Costco weekly meal plan and grocery list. Once again, this is somebody who says that she has lost 45 pounds after she had her third child. So this is not in general about weight loss, but about the pressure to be thin after you had children. And then she walks us through her grocery list, what kind of ingredients she buys. I don't see anything wrong with that. And then we have ideas what she would cook for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner. I used to spend hours meal planning and prepping for each new diet. I'd find the recipes, block off an entire Sunday, and then cook all day. Sure, the next week I would see results, but I would also be so exhausted and burnt out from the process that I didn't want to do it again. And then I'd give up on that diet and be back to square one. Now I keep it simple. With three kids, six and under, I need fast, simple, and something that doesn't require hours of prep. And simple meal plans like this are how I have lost 45 pounds postpartum and kept the weight off after each baby. I also paid each of these meals with my favorite desserts like protein cookie dough, 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 cookie dough, double chocolate brownie bites, and protein or protein butter cups. Ooh, sounds disgusting. Comment dessert below if you want me to send you a copy of the recipes. I wanted a copy of those recipes. And naturally, because I'm a person with no willpower and I wanted to make a video about this, I did. So I signed up for this on her Instagram. Are you ready? These dessert recipes are so good. You're ready for me to send them over? And then I said, yes. Perfect. Sometimes IG goes wonky since it's a big file, so I'll email it to you. What email should I send it to? Then I typed in the email. Yay, I just send it to you. The subject is desserts inside. Make sure to check promotions or spam if you don't see it. I would love if you would tag me if you try it and let me know if you have any questions in the meantime. And then she sent me her ebook or the PDF rather. I will have to blur some of this out because her children are very prominently shown on this PDF or ebook, this recipe book, and I don't want to show them on this channel. And then if we take a look at the recipes, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. If you like these types of recipes, I'm personally not a fan of these. If I want a dessert, I just get a dessert. It doesn't have to be healthy. But for example, the chocolate peanut butter mug cake, peanut butter is not for me, absolute no go. So this wouldn't be for me, but it doesn't sound horrible. If that's what you like, you add a protein powder, mind you. A cup of protein powder, an egg, a peanut butter, almond milk, yeah, you mix it up. I don't know why I need a recipe for this, but of course you could do that. Or you could do brownie batter or chocolate protein cake pops. In this dessert PDF, let's call it like this, she doesn't mention a specific protein powder, but if you know something, when Beachbody rebranded to Body, it was very important for the company to pitch Shakeology, that is their protein powder, it is presented as a superfood, but in the end it is just an overpriced protein powder, and the Huns were encouraged to eat dessert every single day and to create something with Shakeology. Because that way it sounds more healthy, it sounds like they're actually having fun with workout and with food again. And I would argue it's also an opportunity for body to pitch their own products to their own distributors more often, because you have to have a shake in the morning after your workout, right? That's the healthy route. And then in addition to that, you also now need to cook with these when you are in body because you need to push the products and also this healthy 
lifestyle. At least that is what I assume happened there as well. And that is why we have a lot of Huns who are now creating recipes and desserts with protein powder. When she means protein powder, I would argue she means Shakeology. I find this all very, very sad to see, to be honest with you, specifically in the context of this being a body coach, because there is still this huge pressure and kind of this huge standard to be thin in general, but also shortly after you have had a child, at least when you are a body or a beach body coach. And like I said, I'm grateful she didn't mention Shakeology in those specific recipes, but rather plant-based protein powder. But that is then in the end, the ultimate next step to use the body products, to, to either use the workouts or Shakeology if you want to use those desserts, and then also to be pitched this business opportunity. In my opinion, Body's rebrand is just a facade. If the top distributors feel the need to post before and after pictures, after they had a child, giving birth to a human being in itself can be physically and emotionally very, very challenging. But then on top of that, if you are a body coach, you also have this immense pressure to look the part, to look fit, to look thin, to look muscular, and the Huns cannot rest. They need to start working out, and I've seen her on Instagram as well, where she was in the gym, in her home gym, in the basement, I would argue, or somewhere in the garage, with her baby, with her newborn, on the floor next to her or close to her, because she had to film her workouts, and she also has to push these products. I find this very, very upsetting to see, because it shows me that Body's rebrand was just a facade. The top distributors still have to adhere to a certain beauty standard. They need to put that pressure on themselves. And also apparently the corporate side puts a lot of pressure on them. And now they also need to pitch Shakeology as the magical ingredients for dessert. That is really the only thing that in my opinion has changed after Beachbody rebranded to Body. And while I don't agree with the multi-level marketing business model, I find it extremely sad to see how much pressure the distributors put on themselves. In this case, physically, because you need to look the part to be able to sell the products and to be able to pitch the business opportunity to others. Let's finish this video on a more lighter note with a fifth fail, and it is yet again a Monate pitch. Yes, I have to pull out my glasses, and whenever I do, you know it's serious. This is somebody who wants to pitch Moonade to us that was in February. If you want to become a beauty brand partner, get paid to promote products, work your own schedule. Well, you don't get paid to promote the products, you actually have to sell them. Earn a trip to Tulum, get paid weekly. I hope that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> but Tulum is Monate's 2024 passport incentive trip, which happens in November this year. And it is a lot harder to achieve than reunion, for example, that typically happens in April in Vegas. So let's go through some of the requirements, what she's actually talking about here. If you want to qualify for this trip, the qualification period is from February 1st to July 31st of 2024. And as is typical for money trips, you have different tiers. Tier number one is where you will be able to get a hotel for one, an all-inclusive meal package for one, airfare for one, ground transfers to and from the resort, on program travel dates only. Of course, you need to personally sponsor five MPs, so you need to get five recruits, 13 VIPs, those are customers who lock themselves in for three purchases over 84 bucks, and then you have to have a certain requirement when it comes to the personal group sponsor, 10 MPs and 30 VIPs for your entire group. The group volume needs to be 50 GV. And then the paid as rank on the last qualification month, which would be July, you have to be paid as MMB in July. Yeah. I should just read it before I comment on it. <laughs> and then in tier two, where you get the same as before, but you get the hotel for two, an all-inclusive meal package for two, airfare for one, so you have to pay the airfare. You need to have seven market partners and 25 VIPs. The group sponsor volume has to be 30 market partners and 90 VIPs. The group volume has to be 70 GV. 
And then in your last qualification month in July, you have to be paid as AMM. And then in the third tier, if you want the airfare for your partner to also be covered, you need to have 12 market partners and 38 VIPs in the time mentioned before. And as a personal group sponsor, you must have 45 market partners and 140 VIPs for the entire group. And your GV will be 100,000 and you have to be paid as MM or above in July. Does that sound like that is something that is easily achievable? I don't think so, but okay, good luck with that. Start our business in a box, what? Start a business in a box for $149, get $300 worth of products. That was a special incentive in February because Monate is tanking. They also made it more affordable for people who wanted to join Monate. The least pricey product pack is typically $199, but in February they had the special incentive where you could join for 149 bucks. And because Monate is doing so super well, yes, irony, you get $150 to shop with. I can help you with what to get. I would assume that you get $150 to get product credit, so you probably cannot just go shopping with them, but you need to spend the money on Monate products, or you had to. Here are the perks and the benefits. Plus, it's fun to earn money online if you are able to make money online, yes. 30% discount. If you join as a market partner, you get the product 30% off. Now, mind you, the products are extremely pricey. So 30% off does sound like a lot, but the products are still very, very pricey. No sales quota. What? Are you sure about this? This is the compensation plan. And if you take a look, these are all of the sales requirements you have each and every month, depending on the rank you are at or depending on the rank you want to hit. These are all sales quotas. No purchase obligation. Well, actually there is, because first of all, you need to pay your way into the company. So your first purchase obligation, as it was in February, is with a product pack for $149, which typically is $199, but you can also spend a lot of money. And with a compensation plan I just showed you, the PV, the personal volume requirement, is a requirement you can fulfill and you have to fulfill every single month. Those are the products that you yourself sell to retail customers, but you can also conveniently purchase that. So there could be actually a purchase obligation if you want to hit a rank or if you want to keep a rank, but you were not able to sell enough product that month. Free website and training. It's actually not a free website and the training is also not free if you have to pay to join Monate. You also have to pay an annual administrative fee after a year. So that is not free. That is included in the price that you have to pay, which can add up really, really quickly. Earn trips. Yeah, like the, the easy one I just showed you that was not so easy to earn. Car program. Hardly anybody is able to hit that car program anymore and a lot of people have fallen off. Bottomless bonuses. Get paid 10 ways. You actually get paid two ways. Sell and recruit. Fun team incentives. Community like no other. Mm -hmm. It's a very weird community. Let's say it like this. No experience required. Learn from top industry leaders. But isn't that a red flag if you don't need any experience, but you can become a beauty brand partner? There's something wrong. That should be a red flag, and not something to brag about. What's stopping you? Um, let me just pitch my Monate playlist up here if you want to take a look. After all, it's Monate Munch Madness. All of the information there is what's stopping me from joining Monate. Plus, Monate is not live in Germany. If it's any of these, we need to chat. Fear of judgment. No, I post videos on the internet. I'm fine with judgment. I don't have extra time. No, I don't have extra time for that bullshit, but I make time for the things I want to do. Money. No, I'm fine. Other. Well, I just set the playlist up here. Do not overthink it. Comment work. Nothing changes. If nothing changes, what have you got to lose? A lot of money. A lot of money and a lot of time, unfortunately. And many times people have to join these scams to see it's a scam. But yeah, hopefully a lot of people will get out of Monate rather quickly before they have lost a lot of money and a lot of time. They could have invested in something actually useful for themselves and for their future. Comment work. What? No, I won't do that. 
Hear me out. It's 2024 and everyone is practically living on social media. You wash your hair and have an option to make some extra cash by sharing a link with friends. Not to mention a list of perks, a discount and no penalties if you decide it's not your thing to pursue it as a business. Win, win. Okay, that is already loaded with a pile of BS. Yes, most people wash their hair, but not with that pricey shampoo. Monet sells really extremely overpriced products and you don't make money by buying the Monet products. You actually spend money that way for overpriced products. And then you don't just share a link. You have to be able to sell the product or to recruit somebody to make some commission. I see so many people looking for jobs and saying they're willing to do a lot for a guaranteed hourly wage. What I love about this commission-based comp plan is that it's up to you how much money you want to make. Actually, it's not because it's not a legitimate sales job. If that was true, you would just try to stay at the lowest rank and you would be able to sell a lot of product. But you get compensated best in Monet if you're able to recruit people. It's not really a sales-based. And the compensation plan is also not commission-based. It is recruitment-based. I will show it to you again. You are able to make the most money in Monet when you're able to hit the higher ranks. And you're only able to hit the higher ranks when you're able to recruit a lot. It is not up to you how much money you make. It is up to your downline. It costs you nothing monthly and you have access to a free virtual store that will take care of all the inventory, packing, shipping and back-end website crap that you don't have time or the bandwidth to deal with. Well, first of all, it costs you to join and then you have administrative fees and then you might also have additional fees if you want to use some sort of extended backend if you want more information but yeah it will cost you a lot because you will be required to purchase a lot of product products you of course genuinely love but realistically you would only buy because you are in monate so while there might not be a purchase requirement each and every month you will spend a lot of money monthly weekly annually you will spend a lot of money in monate the free virtual store is also not free. You have to pay your way into the company, so it's not free. It's basically a plug and play business with products that are the main requirements for a Shark Tank investor. Oh wow, now we're reaching. Proprietary and patent pending products everyone in the house can use. Great metrics. That's a bunch of word salad, come on. This is the ideal scenario for someone with a full plate who can't possibly add on anything else. I know this speaking from personal experience. I am sorry, this is one of the laziest Huns I have seen in a long while on Instagram. And that is also truly one of her pitches. My husband has a lot of work and he's a full-time student. I don't know if he still is, but she is pretty much at home chilling. And that those are also some of her pitches. I get up at noon and I live my best life and then I hang out with friends and then I frolic through the countryside. That is one of her main pitches. But now she is somebody with a full plate? No, not really. And to be honest with you, she's not that successful. Did I just scratch my boob? Yes, I did because it was itchy. You're welcome. She is not really that successful in Monet. She's still at one of the lower ranks and she has been in Monet for years at this point. So something is not adding up. Getting paid five times a month truly brings extra support and lifts some weight off the shoulders. The initial investment is actually as low as $149 almost four years ago. When I joined, it was scary, but the last few years we've really gained momentum and proven to be sustainable through this interestingly rocky time in history. Monate is one of the hardest tanking MLMs. Monate has already reached its peak before the pandemic, and then I would say it was saved because of the pandemic. Then we can see that the revenue spiked again, and now it is falling into oblivion. You are actually joining a tanking MLM, and the few people that are still in the company need to post pitches like this so that their paycheck doesn't crumble even harder. If you don't have $500 for an emergency fund, let's start with making your $149 investment back and then build up that security. Most people in Monet don't make money, they will lose money. Most people are at the lowest rank and make a little bit above $31. They started with the investment of $100 
$49 and that year they have already lost money. Joining Monate is not an investment. Comment work if you're interested even in the slightest. Actually, I'm not. We can hop on a quick call and I can answer your questions. Monate is tanking hard and those pitches really show how desperate the distributors now are to pitch this business opportunity and to make it sound so great and so good, although it is not. When you join Monate, you will very likely lose money so that the few people who are at the top in Monate are able to continue to make some money. So let's not get fooled, especially not in March Monate Madness. Monate March Madness. I always forget how I titled this. Let's not forget this specifically in March to not join Monate because it is not a great opportunity. And thank you once again to Modern Nature Monate for sponsoring this video. It is a wonderful hair care company that can really ruin your life very, very quickly and you will be able to lose a lot of money, allegedly hair, lots of friends and a lot of time. And if this sounds like a great opportunity to you, then leave a comment in the comment section down below that says, uh, no, ah, uh, no. And then I will send you a link and answer in DMs as well so that I can pitch something to you, but I don't want everybody to see. Of course, this video was not sponsored by Monate. I'm just joking for legal reasons. I'm just clarifying this here. But Monate pitches are gold and I'm all here for them. Now we're getting towards the end of March. So Monate March Madness will stop in April. Maybe I will come up with thematic months in the future as well, where I will focus specifically on one multi-level marketing company, where I will do more videos about one MLM. Let's see. I mean, in May <laughs> could be Monate May. I'm just joking. I would not do that. I do have a lot of content about Monate and it is really easy to find it, but I also like to take a look at other MLMs. If you have any ideas or you would like for me to react to them, either in top fails or in general, then you can always leave me a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. You can also upload content if you have content and you would like for me to react to to your Google Drive and then you can share it with my email. Everything is always in the description box below. I hope you did like MLM Top Fails video number 24 in Monate March Madness. You can find this video in the big anti-MLM playlist. I always post at some point at the beginning or in the end of the video, but you can also find it in MLM Top Fails playlist. I also have smaller playlists that are split up by theme or by category. So if you're not interested in watching the entire playlist, you can also do that. You can also always look that up under playlists on this channel. That's what I personally like to do when I like a creator, then I like to go and watch the stuff in their playlist, specifically the thematic ones, if I don't want to watch just the entire anti-MLM playlist. So if that is interesting to you, you can always check that out. There are multiple playlists now also available on this channel. If you like these types of videos, then please consider subscribing. If you like this specific one, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to let me know something, feel free to do that in the comment section down below or in the DMs. And if you like these types of videos, then hopefully I will see you in my next one. Until then, cheers.